we're gonna we're gonna each do one word to open this up. All right, ready? Ready. Hey, yo, do what's up? You nerd for <laughs> Zelda. <laughs> this is off to a great start. <laughs> Hey, welcome back, Nerdlings. Cheers. What you drinking? Uh, I've got mudslide. I got a pina colada. Well, that's great if you want to cheat on someone and realize that the person that you're going to cheat on was your own husband. Anyway, let's talk about the Legend <laughs> of Zelda. So we're trying to see if we have a thousand items in our Zelda collection. Which I know we do. It's just the matter of actually filming it all. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> that seems to be the while. problem. <laughs> well, the thing is, we are going through like official items. We're going through unofficial things. If it's things that was very clearly, super obviously inspired by Legend of Zelda. Even, even if, if it's, it's called not, Lonk. Even if it's not Zelda, we are including it. And uh, it's just <laughs> been fun like going through the, the collection to see what all we have. Because honestly, some stuff, it's like, I don't even remember where we got the Pez. I don't either. It's not even Pez. That's right. That's probably why it tastes good. I hate Pez. Pez is disgusting. Oh, yeah. In America, we usually call this candy Smarties, but yeah. Smarties are a different candy elsewhere. I think so, yeah. Anyway, I mean, there's not a lot to say about it. It's Link. We left it in its package because it makes for a great display piece. Bravo! He's angry. When you cut his throat and candy comes out of it, wouldn't you be angry? <laughs> wow, yeah. I have got a million dollars. Dollars. This is really cool. I don't remember where we, did, where we got this either. Pretty sure they came in the VG. Oh boxes. yeah. I love this. I wish it was real though. It's really neat though. I mean, they came up with some really cool stuff on it. I mean, there's like rupees on there and his, his uh, hook shot and his ocarina or ocarina, but it's ocarina. You're wrong if you say ocarina. I wish there was other denominations and like having like Zelda and then Ganon and stuff on there because like they are on the back. Actually. Okay, the next two items are actually from a friend of the channel. Tina Roy was asking if we needed these in our collection, didn't want them anymore, and I was like, uh, The answer is always okay. yes. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, this quiver bag full of rupees. I love this. It is so cute. I love the fact that it's even like kind of like the bag is wrinkly and collapsing it on itself even though it's like hard plastic that is so cute and if you don't want to keep your rupees just falling out of a bag well, maybe you should put them in a piggy bank treasure chest with the triforce on the front and the legend of zelda emblem on the back super super cute we have a small collection of wooden chests because we is. love to collect coins Odd coin. We're talking like medieval league type coins, things you get at Renaissance festivals. This is great. I love this. Obviously, the ties to treasure chests in Zelda games. And then rupees. We're in the money. We're in the rupees. Thank you, Tina. This is awesome. Obviously, love these it. are in a great home now because we are never getting rid of them because we just love Zelda stuff. And but, we're hoarders. Uh, you're the hoarder. My I, stuff's in place. It's, it's a collection. Organized hoarding. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a beautiful little bracelet here and a little like leather braided bracelet with the Sheikah slate on there. So the only problem is I can't wear it because I have an allergy to the metal. Aww. Otherwise, I would love to wear this. It's so cute, I, but I do love it. It almost looks like it could be a watch. It does look like it could be a watch, but no, it's just it's embossed on there. But yeah, it's just the Sheikah slate. You can't open it and do anything That's with it. That's a shame. Yeah, if that flipped open, it was that like a little That would be a really watch. cool watch, yeah. Nice. Speaking of gifts to the channel, Gary at Rock Solid does some pretty fantastic 3D printing pieces. We've showed off a couple of these things before. We got some great lights from him. Yes. We got some great Famicom disc system stands, which I absolutely love. We even sent out some stuff over to Drink Games with Josh for his collection because Gary does good work. Speaking of good work... Look at this. Oh, it's it's just a master sword handle. Until <gasps> Wada! Every Highlander would absolutely love to have this. And you wouldn't have to carry around those big ass trench coats anymore because you just shunk. obviously the hilt and the handle for the master sword are spot on. And you have a retractable sword already. I believe mine's more of a dagger. I think I went with a dagger one, but yes. You even like the coloring on I this. do. I Of course, I mean, I love blue and purple. They're go both gorgeous colors, but it's got that like sheen iridescence to it. So pretty. Not only that, but your sister, when we showed this to her, she loved it and she loved yeah, the coloring. Yeah, she did. I would have loved this as a kid because I, ran, I did run around pretending I was the Highlander all the time and I, you know, had to carry around a stupid big ass sword. So this would have been way more fun. Stop the insanity. I have a gift from you. 
You got me this back when uh, Breath of the Wild first came out, when I fell in love with my Korok. This really cute little wooden Korok with a little little leaf on his face. And now he doesn't have a face. I love it. It's super cute. And that's solid it wood, is a too. That solid, could be a murder Yeah, weapon. it is heavy. If you didn't want to stab him with this, you just bludgeon him to death. Yeah, it is a thick, heavy freaking wood. He's a fat little guy. I think initially, Discart was the one who kind of turned me on to these existing... And I was able to order it online. I think it was international. So it was one yeah. of those fingers crossed that it will actually show up. And it did. It did and it yeah. looks great. It's such a cool piece. Are you doing it? Are you collecting what you love right now? You should do it. You should definitely do it. And funny enough, Sega had found one for us. And he was going to ship it to us until uh -huh. we found out we had one. Which it kind of stunk because it's like, oh, he already got it for us. But at least because of how heavy this guy is, he didn't have to pay yes. for that shipping. <laughs> and now he has a cool Korok. Also, before you respond, which you just have. This little string art Triforce piece came from one of the fantastic Play It Forward boxes. Now, we tried to send out a couple of these, and you guys ruined it. No, but they kind of tapered off, which is a shame because it was all about community. But anyway, and I would the like to say is... thank you for the people who tracked down the original stuff and sent it back to us. That was me. This is me who tracked it down. Thank so you. So you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, so the string art, it's a great looking Triforce piece. We actually have a really cool string art sign of our logo. Mm -hmm. So having this nice little display piece goes along perfectly with it. Speaking of drinking, I got, oh. I got me a flask. Do you got the flask? Tell me all about your flask. My flask is just the boring gray card, but it does say the legend of drink, and you just pull out this top flabby here. And yet guzzle down some drinks. What 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 do you got? I have a very special one that came to us from Video Games Monthly. Mm -hmm. They even put this lovely little note on it, which I have kept on there since we <laughs> received it. Drink you nerd gold card. And the best part is not even not only is it a gold cart, but it even has a sleeve. Which is pretty great. Honestly, I love the fact that we have both versions of this because it's just like having both versions of the actual game that came in gray and gold. Exactly. So. And with these, you don't look like a alcoholic. You just look like some weirdo that <laughs> likes to make out with his game card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you mean I read Christmas again? Nah. I remember when I had my first beer. If you did have a little too much to drink and you found that alcohol breath, hey, have some Hylian Shield mints i don't even know how long ago we got these it was a long time ago. a long though. time ago at least probably t over 10 years ago i'm not eating that and they're boring they're just like little circle pieces that yeah. kind of look like pills let's hope are that, they pills let's hope that they're mints is that the cat's pills is that where we put the cat pills <laughs> sound orange <laughs> if your breath stinks and your room stinks we've got that covered too we have this really cute little fresh aroma Breath of the Wild, like, um, emo, like, attitude link going on here. This is a limited edition air freshener that we found at a recent convention. Which you probably saw in our pickup video, but we wanted to save the official count. I think it may be berry. I don't know. Smell that. Yeah, I can kind of get that. New kind car of, berry. Yeah, it's cute, though. I Barry's like got a new car. Save me, Barry! <laughs> save me, Barry! I love my plushies, and I needed something to organize my plushies in. So we decided to use one of the plushie boxes that you can get from the store and put my plushies in it. Yeah, this worked out really well because the way we had the plushies initially, they would fall over very easily. And yes. if you needed to move them, it was a mess. As you can see though, everyone comes with this. And being that it was just a display piece and it was just cardboard, we got it from a GameStop and we yeah, just they did, asked they them just one day. We're us. like, hey, do you care if we have that? And they're like, you want cardboard? Okay. Works the same way, like, you'll see the, like, the World of Nintendo stuff at, like, Target or Walmart or whatever. If you ask them, and they're done with them, they'll just give you those, um, cardboard boxes. We've got several of them holding all of our, our, uh, plushies. They're awesome. And the last thing, of course, to note is that it is Link to the Past, which I love, because I love collecting all things Link to the Past, because I love that game! And, speaking of Link to the Past... Speaking of Link to the Past... I believe I'm wearing a Link to the Past shirt with just the cartridge logo on it. 
And do you know why I'm wearing with just the cartridge logo on it? Why would that be? That's because it came with this lovely giant cartridge. Either that or I'm shrinking. You are shrinking. <laughs> giant cartridge container that the shirt was in. And then when you're done with it, it becomes an art piece to hang on the wall. It even has holes in it. And because of that, that's why we split these two things yes. up. It's clearly designed to be a hangable, yes. displayable art piece. And I really like the detail they went into it. I mean, not only does it have the ridges, it's got like the little screw holes in here and um, in the back, the kind of, you know, divots right there. I am also wearing a shirt, a lovely, uh, almost barbarian. I know, I love that. Sword and shield. It's a great design. It's got like arrows sticking out of it and everything. You got like monster heads and everything. So it's just a cool shirt kind of a low profile obviously if you know what the master sword is you get it right off exactly, the bat yeah. but otherwise you just see it and think oh wait did you see the number on that is that 199 looks like it that means the next time you see a zelda video it's going to be that 200 bow, mark bow, 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 bow. for our second century mark we're gonna have to find something really cool to show off for that so join us as we continue our quest for a thousand Zelda. And items. I will say we haven't even put a dent in anything. It's it's weird to think that that's the case. <laughs> like as we were picking this stuff out, we would keep like picking something up. It's like, should we talk about this? No, I want to bundle that with this and this and this. <laughs> oh, okay. I yep. guess we got some videos to make. We got some more videos to make. Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. See you later. Hey, we did it. Those look like you Mike were check time. Mike check. Mike check Zelda clink. Get a drink in me and whoop, there I go. One million dollars. Love it. Well, speaking of oh. gifts. I knocked his face off. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, scared the cat. Scared me. I thought you were going to stab yourself. <laughs> I love Link to the Past. It's almost like I want to collect all the things Link to the Past. I wonder why. Because it's your favorite game. I know, I realize now you're trying to lead into this. Okay, you want to start that again? Shut up. Shut up! <laughs> you see it, guys? It would not go over my head because I'm too fast <laughs> and I would catch it! <laughs> oh, fucking man. <laughs> you still hang, doing on that on. thing? <laughs>